When you think of a STEM student, you probably think numbers and lab coats, not magic and creativity. But why not think of both? Hi, my name is Hilary Andales, and I'm from the island province of Leyte in the Philippines. While most children grow up hearing Cinderella stories and tales of magic, I grew up learning about Marie Curie and Charles Darwin. My father loved physics, so naturally I was surrounded by math and science both at home and at school. In first grade, I started joining math competitions. I became known as a math girl. But there was also another boy in my class who was good at art, and he would enter the art competitions. I got called intelligent while he got called creative. I wondered, why couldn't we be both? In eighth grade, I started designing graphics about my favorite show, Doctor Who. At first, I was confused by Photoshop's buttons. But what was first intimidating soon became intuitive. I then created things like t-shirts, infographics, and even a math textbook for kids in my community. At this point, I realized the magic I had to make something that didn't exist before, exist. But then, in 2013, I had a big turning point in my life. Typhoon Yolanda struck my home and left over 6,000 people dead. Though we were used to big storms, no one adequately explained the dangers of this one. Had the dangers of a storm surge been communicated properly, more people could have been saved. In that moment, I realized that sharing science in a more understandable way could make a better world. And more importantly, I realized that I can help make that better world. In 2017, I combined my interests in science and communication to compete in the Breakthrough Junior Challenge, where students create videos explaining complex concepts in ways that everyone can understand. My entry about Einstein's theory of relativity won first among 11,000 entries worldwide. I got to stand on the same stage as Morgan Freeman and my favorite scientists. I also received a scholarship to attend MIT, where I'm currently studying and doing research on astrophysics. I also traveled the world sharing digital literacy, inspiration, and of course, science with everyone. So I guess, in a way, I still am the math girl. But now, you can call me creative too. <laughs>